I transform into a cat in the usual park. I'm used to that uncomfortable feeling already. I've searched the different paths every night for the black cat, but I haven't found a clue. If I can't even find a clue, maybe it isn't a normal cat as I thought. That's why. I don't even know which way to look. I should check out the busier streets today. There are lots of people, so it's scary. Is it better if I wait here until the black cat passes by? I start to walk, still in doubt. You seem comfortable being a cat. What? I look up to see the black cat in a tree. Meow! Meow! Don't fluster. You can't talk using human words in that form. But you can. The black cat says and stares at me with narrow eyes. As I thought, you seem better off as a cat, don't you? That's not true! Really? You don't seem to have any trouble, though. That's... With the black cat's words, my mind is filled with Mr. Saijo caring for me kindly. It's not so bad just to give in and become a cat, huh? No! Hey! What do I have to do to return to normal? I told you! Kiss the person you truly love. That's how you undo the curse. Then, that means... The black cat turns its back on me and starts to walk away, as if it's done talking. If I lose him here, I'll be back at the beginning. Wait, please! I have so much more that I want to know! Meow! I desperately run after the black cat. Who is the black cat and what is this curse? If I can't undo the curse, does my devil life go on forever? And who is the person I truly love? Are there others who are cursed like me? Were they able to undo their curse? There are so many questions I want to ask. Hey, why do I have to go through all this anyway? <laughs> the black cat runs around before me, jumping on the fence and jumping down as if playing with me. What did I do to deserve this? I don't recall doing anything to be cursed by you. My emotions had been worked up since I finally found the black cat. All my suppressed feelings explode. You're right. You didn't do anything wrong. Then why? I jumped from the fence to fence following the black cat. Suddenly, I miss my footing. The lower half of my body starts to fall, and I quickly clutch onto the fence. My heart is racing. I was about to injure myself again. Clumsy, as always. The next thing I notice, the black cat is standing in front of me. Its purple and gold odd eyes are glowing in the darkness of the night. As always, what do you know about me? You don't know anything. Meow. I glare an inch. I glare an inch towards him, fixing my posture and lifting my hind legs. That's true. Hey, what do you mean by someone I truly love anyway? There are fairy tales about breaking a curse by a kiss of a prince. But the person I like, I couldn't figure out what the black cat meant by that. I have nothing more to say. No, that's irresponsible. You're the one who put the curse on me. I can't think of anyone when I'm told a person that I love. I mumble my true feelings, and the black cat's eyes widen. And the black cat widens its eyes. Oh, is that so? I heard human females are fickle and find love everywhere they go. But is that not true? Where'd you get that information? Of course that's not true! There are people who devote all their love to a single person. In my case, I haven't met that person yet. Really? Well, good luck then. Hey! As I reach my right hand out to the black cat, it jumps backwards. My hands clasp the air and I lose my balance again. Uh, watch out! Meow! 
clutch onto the fence, bending my back. Careful of your surroundings. The black cat laughs and jumps into the bushes. I regain my balance and desperately try to follow. But the distance between us increases. My chest feels squeezed. Whether because I ran or because I'm sad, I don't know which. What's going to happen to me? I thought I'd find a solution if I found the black cat. In no time, I had lost sight of the black cat. <sighs> Whew. I lost him again. I didn't get any answers. What am I supposed to do now? As I'm blanked out, I heard someone coming through the bushes. Are you there? Mr. Saijo. The bush right in front of me rustled, and the next thing I noticed, I was in someone's arms. Mr. Saijo? This is... I heard voices in my yard, so I came to see. What happened? Were you fighting again? You don't seem to be hurt. Mr. Saijo starts to walk carrying me in his arms. I had entered Mr. Saijo's yard without noticing. I wonder if the black cat comes here often. You're so mischievous, aren't you? Mr. Saijo says, petting my head softly. I've never been called mischievous in my life before. I've been called active and energetic, but never mischievous or clumsy. But lately, I feel like I'm called that often. Only Mr. Saijo and the black cat call me that. For some reason, I lose my cool in front of Mr. Saijo. I get comfortable in Mr. Saijo's rel relieving arms. The clip clip of flower shears echoes in the silent room. After bathing me, Mr. Saijo started to arrange flowers in his room. <laughs> Pretty. That's some some Japanese flower arrangement. It's my first time to actually see Mr. Saijo arranging flowers. I observe him from a distance. He carefully places the flowers he had cut. They're daffodils and irises he had bought today. He uses such an unusual flower vase. A vase that's long sideways so it's so fancy. Mr. Saijo quietly inserts the flower in the flower vase. Let's call it a vase. He pauses, looks at the whole image, and then picks up another flower. Even if you care for them properly, the cut flowers are always on their way to their ends. So I want to arrange them beautifully for as long as possible. On their way to their ends, so I make it sound so dark, oh no. <laughs> I want to arrange them in a way that rids of anything unnecessary and displays the natural beauty of the flowers. Mr. Saijo slowly arranges the flowers one by one. There's no sound and the air seems to be cleared. It's strange. It's like I can feel Mr. Saijo's tranquility. Keeping calm is a good thing. Look for and desiring your true self. Question yourself. What is important? What is the truth? Question yourself of the truth? The deep purple iris and the white daffodil are arranged in front of Mr. Saijo with an exquisite balance. The iris stands beautifully, and as if supporting a bit away, the daffodils were placed around. I don't know why, but I thought for a moment they looked like Mr. Saijo and me. What is it that I desire? What do I truly want to do? I feel unsatisfied with my life, and when I complained, I was turned to a cat. Everything ordinary suddenly turned out, turned out of the ordinary, and I finally felt value in those things. But besides that, this time that I spent in his place feels important as well. The side of Mr. Saijo that I couldn't have known if I hadn't become a cat. It's true that I feel kind of fortunate to have become a cat. 
I repeat the black cat's words in my mind. A kiss with the person I truly like. It's no good if I keep on getting used to being a cat. The curse wouldn't be broken. Huh? What will happen if I give in to being a cat? Would I truly turn into a cat? No. I don't want to. I need to see that black cat and talk to it again. The flowers that have been arranged since I saw them last time look beautiful with their le fixed leaves and undulating arrangement. So beautiful, but it's strange. When I look at it, somehow I feel a bit lonely. Why does this iris look so lonesome? I can usually make up my mind when I'm arranging flowers, but for some reason I couldn't today. I guess I'll sleep for today. I, miss, I guess Mr. Saijo had some concerns too. Mr. Saijo put away his tools and picked me up. Huh? My usual bed is the cushion. I thought he'd bring me there, but Mr. Saijo snuggled into his bed with me still in his arms. Oh, does Mr. Saijo? Am I successfully becoming someone important to you? Mr. Saijo lays me down next to his body and pets my back gently. <laughs> there's like, there's so many double meanings to this. You might be able to live without the inconvenience or worries without me. You seem to adapt to your surroundings easily, too. That's not really true. I only took care of you and watched after you out of curiosity. But I noticed myself looking forward to it. You soothe me and make me think. I wonder why. Funny, isn't it? Mr. Saijo murmurs discouraged. It's my first time seeing him like this. Hmm. This. <laughs> well, the right choice is option two, apparently, so... Cry out! I didn't know Mr. Saijo could make such a face. I'd be happy if I could soothe him. Meow. I meow once and lick Mr. Saijo's hand. I hope he understands my thoughts. <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy to have you here. Did you know? The day after you came here for the first time, I bought the pot of primrose in hopes of you coming back. The primrose is placed on the windowsill of, of this room, properly taken care of. After that, I started to gain interest in white flowers. Even though I hadn't really used them in arrangements before. Come to think of it, you do buy white flowers lately. You used to buy more colorful flowers before. It's like I found a new side of myself thanks to you. Mr. Saijo lightly poked my head with his fingertip. I'm happy if Mr. Saijo is soothed when I'm a cat. I wish I could help him out more. You can't sleep if I keep talking. Sorry, let's get some sleep. Mr. Saijo closed his eyes with me still in his arms. I was gazing at his face. It's my first time looking at his face like this. Before I realized, this room had become as comfortable as my own room. It's different from adapting. I didn't get used to here, but I just gained a new place. I can be here and not be concerned about anything, comfortable and fawning with him. I keep coming back here willingly because I want to know more about him. I can be at Mr. Saijo's side if I'm a cat. I think, clear as day. If I return to being a human, I'll be a mere flower shop clerk. I wouldn't be able to look at his face from this close. I didn't imagine being this sad about parting. I think I understand why the black cat said it's not good to give in to being a cat. If I give in, I'd be close to him. It means I think it's okay to keep going on like this. I may not be able to return to being a human again. The black cat didn't exactly say that, but there might be a possibility. I don't actually feel it, but if I keep on going like this as a cat, it's possible it'll happen. And nonetheless, 
I'll probably come back here tomorrow, the day after. With thoughts like that, I close my eyes on Mr. Saijo's chest. <laughs>